Hey! Whoa! Oh. Across and across, man! What are you... Look, I need to talk to you about something. And now, you psychopath man? I'm in the middle of something. I found this article. It's it's the answer to everything you ever wanted to know. Oh, yeah, the answer to a question that I clearly did not ask yeah, you. Yeah, okay. Have you heard of arousal addiction? Nope. It's the demise of guys, okay? Look, you know how I haven't had sex in over a year? It's the 12th already? It's the 15th. And you know how you couldn't get it up with Danielle last summer? Well, this is why. All right, you have me. It's this porn, man. It, it's all this freaky, hardcore shit we infect our brains with. Here, let me see this. Oh, no, come, come on, it's come fine. Come on, come on. Relentless vibrator dominates? Wild kitchen sex with teens? Busty mature bathroom bitch? Dude, this is not natural. No, it's not. But, you know, don't act like you don't gotta do what you Oh, do. no, I do. Believe me, I do. Every free waking minute. But, I mean, we all do. And that's the problem. So what, are you Mormon now? I mean, there's nothing no, wrong with- No, I'm not- with... No, look. Your brain on porn. Okay, well, I'm gonna get pants on. I believe you know, I think- Dude, no, listen to this. Evolution has not prepared the human brain for porn. In a single session with all these tabs open, you can experience more sexual partners in one session than your ancestors did in a lifetime. Hell yeah, evolution, bitch! No, it's a bad thing. Look, they did this study. Say you had a male rat, right? And you dropped him in a cage with a receptive female. What would happen? You know, they... With the... They fuck. Right. And eventually he gets tired, and so even if she's still willing, he's depleted. But if you replace that first female with a new one, he'll immediately struggle to fertilize her. And they found that you can do this over and over again until the male rat's pretty much dead. You can't blame a rat for trying to plant a seed, you know, that's what I do, that's what gardeners do, it's how you make a living sometimes. It's a natural instinct to a new mate. It's also the reason you, me, and our entire generation is hooked on porn. Like that rat, you've got a primitive mechanism in you urging you to try and fertilize whatever two-dimensional females, males, whatever you see on your screen. And we've all been to the dark sides of the internet. A lot of us haven't come back. This applies to girls as well. They found that human females are just as promiscuous as males when given the opportunity. You know, Nate, I'm gonna be as blunt as I can with you because I don't wanna waste your time like you're wasting mine, but I'm gonna watch porn, probably more porn, just to spite you. Todd, it's actively damaging you. Yeah, I'll actively damage, get out of here. Look, I was in the middle of something you can't get, no, please get out No, I'm not gonna let you do this. I'm gonna stay right here. Nate, get out this room. Or I will masturbate in front of you. Oh no, you will not. Go watch, I don't care. Do what you gotta do. Go ahead, present it. <sighs> Your move. All these sexual urges come from a neurochemical called dopamine, and it activates the most basic part of your brain, the reward circuitry. No, 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 I've learned about this dopamine before. You know, it's like crack, heroin, all that good stuff. You cannot possibly compare porn to heroin. Actually, you kind of should. See, dopamine is all based on two things, surviving and expanding your gene pool. Eating high-calorie, high-fat foods like chocolate cake give you a big old dopamine splash. Celery, not so much, but an orgasm is the biggest release available. The problem is we're overloading our systems and basically hot-rodding this whole thing to run faster. But actual good feelings come from a different type of chemical called opioids. Dopamine is wanting something, opioids are liking something. The issue we run into is with the ratio. See, dopamine's way more powerful than opioids, so we seek out stuff way more than we're satisfied by it. Dopamine thrives on novelty. Uh, a new car, a new iPhone, new camera equipment, all of that gives you a big old dopamine surge, but as soon as it gets old, it tapers right off. It's like with those Coolidge effect rats we were talking about. With the same female, the male gets less and less satisfied each time. Humans are the same way. Yeah, but look at this. Offensive? Eventually, as this craving compels you to watch more and more porn, your overstimulated reward circuitry rebels. Your nerves are bombarded with dopamine, and they start to numb up, and they can't produce the same pleasure response as before. It's like if someone were to scream in your ear. Ah! Exactly, you'd cover your ears. 
And then when your nerves are bombarded like that, they cover their ears. And so you're hooked because nothing's interesting to your brain anymore. And you'll be hypersensitive to anything remotely porn related. This mechanism will have your reward circuitry buzzing at just the hint of porn use, but then less enthused when it comes to the real deal. It's basically ED. E-T? E ED. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I've seen it. But it's completely irrelevant, and there's no need for you to bring it up at this point. No, not E-T. E... You can't get it up. Oh. The devil's backbone. Rats and humans are essentially the same when it comes to sexual stimuli. There are these researchers in Australia who did a study with a bunch of males, human males, where they showed them the same erotic film over and over again and measured their subjective reports and their penises to get a feel for their level of arousal. What they found was as you show the same movie over and over again, they just totally get disinterested. Basically, the same old, same old gets boring. However, on the, after the 18th viewing, they introduce a new film that none of them had ever seen before. And immediately, both the reports and the measurements of their penises just went straight up. Now this indicates their dopamine was going up because of the novelty, but that novelty is available instantly on the internet. It's what scientists are calling a supernormal stimulus. That's what I call unfinished penis. How so? It's quite simple, really. So you build a tolerance like booze or happiness. Exactly, and people are always looking for a bigger fix to get the same effect. It's the only reason why we keep moving towards new directions. You mean new directions? <laughs> uh, yes. A lot of users will start out by watching what's considered ordinary vanilla sexual conduct, but when that's not satisfying to them anymore, they'll seek out something unconventional because it's the only thing that gets them that excitement. In fact, a lot of users will seek out what's deliberately shocking to them because if something's fear-inducing or forbidden, combined with that sexual feeling, it gives a much bigger chemical kick. That was mine. This is why it's not uncommon to see porn users start their career with an image of a famous hottie's butt and escalate all the way to girls with goats or anime tentacle porn. Have you seen that too? Does it haunt your dreams? Yes. When we, when we escalate to new genres, we're driven by desensitization. Our fundamental sexual orientation hasn't changed. It's not like you're inherently attracted to tentacles. You wanna bet? No, I do not. These changes in your brain can result in a lot of different symptoms, like uh, distress about the type of porn you're watching. Mm, good boner guilt. Copulatory impotence. Of course. Frequent jerking with little satisfaction. Uh, tradition, routine, yeah. their safety and habits. Worsening social anxiety or lack of confidence. I just honestly don't like being around people. Morphing tastes unassociated with your sexual orientation. Tentacles. Look, man, it's far too late for me. I've been watching this stuff since preschool. I can't just turn it off now. There's nothing I can do about this. Hey, no, come on. There's still hope for freakish perverts like us. Well, I mean, you know, you don't gotta be nice. It's me, I know. Uh, okay, fine. There's still hope for freakish perverts like you. <laughs> they call it rebooting. Basically, you just give your brain a rest from all this intense artificial sexual stimulation. No porn, no chat rooms, no erotic novels, nothing. And eventually your brain gets back to normal responsiveness. But you gotta go total cold turkey so your brain doesn't rely on the dopamine fix associated with heavy porn use. Eventually you can choose to activate a more balanced path that yields results you prefer. You know, I'm kind of glad we had this talk. I feel liberated. I haven't done anything at all yet, but I feel like I could feel good for the first time in a while. I feel addiction-free. That's good. Yeah, but have you have you seen my cigarettes? And do you have a lighter? <laughs>